गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट आवर एक्सपेरिमेंट इज लो टेस्ट ऑन सिंगल फेस ट्रांसफार्मर सो यू रिमेंबर दिस इज द सर्क्यू डायग्राम फॉर अ लो टेस्ट ऑन अ सिंगल फेस ट्रांसफार्मर ओके सो दिस इज द टेबलर कॉलम वी नीड टू मेजर ऑल द रीडिंग्स हियर सो बेसिकली सिंगल फेस ट्रांसफार्मर हैविंग टू वाइंडिंग्स so one is a primary winding another one is a secondary winding so these single phase transformer working based on the uh, mutual induction only because there is no any connection between uh, primary winding and a secondary winding so based on the mutual induction only this uh, single phase transformer working okay so here in this particular experiment we need to test and we need to measure how much of voltage we are getting at load end so we are connecting a full load here okay how much of voltage we are getting across this load that one only our experiment load test on single phase transformer okay the same diagram i have drawn here you remember same diagram i have drawn here and this is a tabular column then we need to calculate here majorly uh, three values one is a efficiency another one is a regulation okay so here efficiency in the sense output power by input power into 100 why we are taking 100 here in the sense efficiency we are calculating always in percentage only because of that i have taken here 100 so here input power means that one is a w1 so you observe in tabular column primary side power is a w1 that power only a input power and output power means w2 its means secondary side whatever the power we are measuring that one is a output power okay and so after uh, taking the readings then we will calculate what is the efficiency in this low test single phase transformer then regulation regulation in the sense v suffix nl minus v suffix fl by v suffix nl it's mean here vnl in the sense no load voltage vfl in the sense that one is a full load voltage okay so then we are uh, will go for experiment we are going to do an experiment here we have a model graph also model graph we are drawn for efficiency and output power and regulation and output power okay then we will go for experiment so this is our low test on a single phase transformer kit so this kit available in our laboratory low test on a single phase transformer you can observe it here so you observe here this is a single phase transformer so this single phase transformer having a primary winding and a secondary winding okay so this primary winding and secondary winding it's mean in between this primary winding and secondary winding there is no any connection so the meaning of these lines indicates it's a core okay so this primary winding flux will be linked to the secondary winding due to that only secondary side also we can get the voltage and current value okay here you remember so here double one watt meter and voltmeter ammeter these three meters for primary winding side so it's mean we are connecting voltmeter ammeter and double one watt meter for primary winding and these three meters so v2 voltage and i2 and w2 these three meters we are going to connect at secondary side okay you remember so this one is a input power and this one is a output power these two are these two powers are very very important to calculate efficiency and regulation and this one is a input voltage and this one is a output voltage this one is a input current and this one is a output current the secondary side voltmeter we are going to connect to the low across to the load so these two are the loads we need to lift these loads then load will be considered here okay we can lift two loads in this is that one is a full load 
and only one we can lift in the sense that one is a half load okay then we'll go to do the experiment uh, then I, I will be going to connect the circuit as per the uh, circuit co uh, connection okay once again I am showing the circuit diagram here you remember you remember according to circuit diagram I have connected all the connections here then I will be going to explain this one you remember so first you remember from power supply I mean from auto transformer to voltmeter so power supply to voltmeter okay from the same first terminal voltmeter to ammeter from same first volt voltmeter first terminal to ammeter okay and then ammeter second one meter second one is connected to wattmeter m wattmeter m okay you remember here a meter second terminal connected for watt meter m here also same yeah, sir. okay m then next l is connected for primary winding so l is connected for primary winding okay then next v is connected for secondary uh, primary winding of second terminal v is connected for v is connected for power supply and as well as secondary uh, sorry primary winding of uh, primary winding of second terminal so here i have connected v for supply and from that place to primary winding okay and then you remember primary side is completed primary side connection is completed then we'll go for secondary side so secondary side you remember secondary side first terminal is connected for ammeter okay then i am going to connect for ammeter and ammeter second terminal connected for second watt meter m ammeter second terminal connected for second watt meter m mc shorted and here also mc shorted and then l is connected for load l is connected for load so here l is connected for load terminal you remember this is a l watt meter l that one is connected for load and then next v is connected for secondary winding second terminal V is connected for secondary winding second terminal. V is connected for this is V, wattmeter V, and that one is connected for secondary winding. Okay, secondary winding second terminal. And then you remember here one voltmeter, one voltmeter we are connecting across the load because we need to measure the voltmeter reading here okay so this load voltage we need to measure by using this voltmeter because of that i am going to connect here you remember one voltmeter this whole this voltmeter i am going to connect across load first terminal for first terminal and second terminal for second terminal okay then i am going to turn on the power supply okay you remember and i am going to increase then i am going to increase a uh, voltage i mean uh, power supply voltage by using variac i'm going to take primary side 230 uh, sorry 220 volts okay 220 volts i have taken at uh, primary side by using variac single phase variac okay 
you remember so here you have to remember uh, here uh, i did not apply any load here load in turn off condition so no load condition v1 volt uh, v1 voltage is 220 and current is 0 0.126 approximately zero and secondary side voltage v2 voltage is 110 and secondary current is zero secondary side wattmeter power also zero and here primary side wattmeter power also zero then i am going to here note it down all the values no load condition so this one is 221.4 and i1 is 0 0.131 and w1 is and w uh, v2 is 110 and uh, i2 is 0 and w2 also 0 then i am going to lift a first load okay you remember right now current values and power values varied here you remember here this wattmeter somewhat uh, um, damage because of that this wattmeter reading will not shows so primary side how much of voltage we given so and uh, whatever the current we got it so that current and voltage you should have to multiply here okay simply the reading you should have to multiply it then you will get a first wattmeter reading okay so here uh, V1 is 219.9 at load condition at load condition first load I have applied so for first load 220 volts and uh, ammeter 1 is 0 point, 0 0.95 amperes and uh, secondary side voltage is 107 107 this w1 i will be going to calculate after uh, completion of this re uh, all the readings i will take then i will multiply this p and uh, i and then replace here you don't worry about that then you remember at load half load condition we got i2 current is 1.8 1.8 amperes and w2 wattmeter reading you should have to observe here okay how much so each and every line is 50 watts so here two two lines are there it's mean uh, 100 watts so you should have to take here 100 watts w2 okay then i am going to apply second load also this is a full load condition okay so in this full load condition also this wattmeter reading not showing because already i said this wattmeter uh, a little bit damaged that's why you should have to take this uh, reading v1 v1 we got 218 for a second load it means this is a full load actually second load after applying a second load we got 218 voltage and uh, i1 current we are going to take it that one is 1.8 and uh, w1 I will calculate after then v2 you should have to observe here 103 103 volts and this ammeter you should have to remember i2 ammeter is 3.5 amperes 
and peers and you should have to remember here compared to pre uh, half load condition full load condition uh, somewhat uh, increases the power here 250 and 300 400 we got here 400 watts in a full load condition and uh, or otherwise second after applying a second load we got 400 watts then these efficiency and regulation we will uh, calculate after okay you remember these are the readings so you remember previously w1 not uh, measured by the watt meter because of that uh, after uh, after completion of taking the reading, I have multiplied uh, V1 voltage and I1 current. Then we got W1 uh, no load condition 29 watts. And uh, when we are applying a load 1, we got 209. And when we are applying uh, load 2, we got uh, 400. Uh, 0.40 watts. Okay. Here I am going to calculate only for full load only full load calculation only i am going to do because of no load condition watt meter reading is approximately 0 w2 and w1 also very very less 29 because of that there is no any much more efficiency at uh, no load condition because of that i am not going to calculate for uh, efficiency for no load condition and half load when i was applied half load uh, for that half load also I did not calculate only for a full load only I am going to calculate here when I have applied a full load for that only I am going to calculate efficiency value as well as regulation value you should have to observe here output power by input power into 100 so input power W1 is 400.40 watts so you remember here we got input power for 400.440 watts and w2 you remember here 400 watts so here second watt meter reading we got 400 watts so then i will be going to replace all the values here output power is 400 and input power is 400.40 into 100 because we are going to calculate efficiency for percentage that's why I have multiplied 100 then we got 99.90 it's a very uh, good accuracy uh, equipment okay then regulation also same no load uh, no load voltage minus full load voltage by no load voltage so here at a no load condition it's mean where is the no load condition this is a no load condition no load condition what is the voltage at secondary side because why we are taking only secondary side voltage but not a primary side voltage in the sense we are calculating this efficiency um, values uh, at load condition only it means across load only we are going to calculate now because of that i am taking here uh, v2 voltage so no load condition voltage is uh, 110 volts secondary side and uh, full load voltage is 103 volts these two values i am going to replace here no load voltage 110 minus full load voltage is 103 and no load voltage again 110 into we are taking a regulation also in percentage in the sense into 100 we can replace it then we can get a 6.36 okay that one is a regulation those two values i have replaced here 99.90 and 6.36 then model graph you should you only uh, draw it this model graph by using graph sheet 